so today we are doing repetition a new topic we are doing now it is also called iteration so iterative process iteration iterative statements or repetition of any task like here you can see the picture here a butterfly will lay eggs from that the caterpillar will be there then the larva and then the butterfly so this is going on means it is iterative process occurring in our nature so here repetition repetition means often we repeat a task for example payment of electricity bill which is done every month figure shows the life cycle of butterfly that involves four stages that is a butterfly lays eggs turns into a caterpillar becomes a pupa and finally matures as a but butterfly the cycle starts again with laying of eggs by the butterfly and so on this kind of repetition is also called iteration so this word you have to remember iteration or repetition repetition of a set of statements in a program is made possible using looping constructs to understand further let us look at the program write a program to print the first five natural numbers now how to print first five natural numbers print 1 print 2 print 3 print 4 print 5 so it is printing 1 2 3 4 5 what should we do if we are asked to print the first 1 lakh natural numbers writing 1 lakh print statements would not be an efficient solution it would be te tedious and not the best way to do the task writing a program having a loop or repetition is a better solution the program logic is given below take a variable say count and set its value to 1 print the value of count increment the variable count equals to count plus 1 that is count is incremented by 1 repeat steps 2 and 3 as long as count has a value less than or equal to 1 lakh so we will use this check and that many times you can repeat looping constructs provide the facility to execute a set of statements in a program repetitively based on a condition the statements in a loop are executed again and again as long as particular logical condition remains true this condition is checked based on the value of a variable called the loops control variable when the condition becomes false the loop terminates it is the responsibility of the programmer to ensure that this condition eventually does become false so that there is an exit condition and it does not become an infinite loop for example if we did not set the condition count less than equals to 1 lakh the program would have never stopped there are two looping constructs in python for and while so we are going to start with koi bhi kaam jab diya jayega suppose maine agar i have given a task to you ki school mein jitne students hain sabka um, admission number ya fir sabka uh, place of residence note karke lao there is a limitation in your school i have asked you that in your school but if i ask you of all the students now it will become infinite because millions and millions of students of the world now if you start so here you will see that in for and while for termination a condition should be finite theek hai ye check karna hai to abhi hum log for loop aur while loop use karenge jisse hum koi bhi kaam jo repetition ho raha hai जैसे सारे स्टूडेंट्स का मार्क्स कैलकुलेट करना है फीस लेना है फीस कैलकुलेट करना है सो ऑल दिस टास्क वी विल यूज फॉर लूप और वाइल लूप एंड वी विल यूज दिस रिपीटेशन जहाँ पे भी क्वेश्चन में लग रहा है कि रिपीटेशन है इटरेशन है वहाँ पे हम फॉर लगाएंगे अभी तक हम लोग इफ पढ़ रहे थे इफ क्या कर रहा था कोई भी कंडीशन चेक करना है 
तो हम इफ लगा देते अगर डायरेक्ट कैलकुलेट करना है तो जब सबसे फर्स्ट वॉट वी हैव लर्न कुछ भी कैलकुलेट करना है सीधे फॉर्मूला लिख के कैलकुलेट कर देते उसके बाद हमने सीखा कि कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट जब कोई कंडीशन चेक करना है तब हम लोग इफ लगा के चेक करते आज हम लोग सीख रहे हैं रिपीटेशन ऑफ अ टास्क को कैसे सिंप्लीफाई किया जाए तो यहाँ पे हम फॉर लूप से और वाइल लूप से हम रिपीटेशन ऑफ अ टास्क को एक पहले प्रोग्राम दिखा देती हूँ उसके बाद मैं बाकी का थ्योरी बताऊंगी आज हम लोग फॉर लूप एंड वाइल लूप करने जा रहे हैं फॉर इसको लूप इसलिए बोला जा रहा है बिकॉज रिपीटेशन इज देर नाउ आई एम यूजिंग फॉर नाउ यू विल लर्न नाउ इन द थ्योरी some terms like range suppose i am using here for x in range now i want to print from 1 to 100 so what i will do here i will or suppose 2 to 20 i want to print so 2 comma now one more value you have to give here like suppose i am writing 23 it will print till 22 clear so this range you have to give here that from where to where you have to print the next for is a block this you are creating a block of for that's a colon you have to write and now if you are asked to print the value of x then suppose i want to be on the same horizontally i want to print it with a comma so i will write here end equals to in single quote i will give a comma now what will happen when i am printing you can see what it will do it will print first two then two with a comma then it will come up two plus one so this is the syntax of for for variable name any variable name you can write here in range you have to mention from where to where and this is a block so colon i will write and i want to print all the values horizontally if you don't use end equals to comma it will print vertically so you can run execute and you can see here from 2 it is increasing by 1 since i have given the value as 2 and always it stops before the last value so before 23 22 comes so it will stop here clear now suppose i have asked you that print 1000 stars clear so 1000 stars you have to print so what for that what you will do 1000 stars means you have to run a loop of 1000 and you have to print stars so here for 1000 stars suppose any number start value and the stop value if the difference is 1001 then it will print and now i am printing stars so stars if you want to print with a comma then comma you will write if you don't want a co comma then we will remove it now when you will execute it you will see it is printing 1000 stars clear so here if we count here it is 1000 stars suppose if i give you only 20 and the question is how many stars the program will print anybody who can tell here 19 from 2 to 19 it is printing stars so how many stars it will print 70 Yes, eighteen. Eighteen, it is printing. Clear here. Eighteen, it will print because two is also included in this. Clear till nineteen, it is printing. No, twenty means before twenty, it will stop till nineteen. So from two to nineteen, so you will subtract only one. So it is eighteen stars. So here, when I will execute it, you can count and you can see here. Only eighteen stars will be there. Four, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Clear? So this output question is also asked in exam. Now here you can see we can print many patterns, different different designs you can create in this. 
suppose i am writing here nested for loop that we will do afterwards just i wanted to show what all things you can do using a for loop that's why i am showing you this but in detail how it is getting executed that i will show you afterwards so what i am doing is i am simply putting one for loop inside another for loop and you can see a magic here and i want to print till x or x plus 1 so here i am writing x plus 1 or x plus 2 and then i am printing star and after this is over i want to give a print to come to a next line to come to a next line i will use simple one print command now when you will execute it what error i have done sorry this should be indented so i have made a mistake after this block press enter and for loop block should be there otherwise it will show error clear so this was a block now you can see a pattern of stars it has made if you give a small value here suppose 7 and then you can see a pattern it is printing clear now since i have written here 2 plus 2 that's why it is starting from two stars otherwise if you give here 1 then it will start from one star now these type of patterns many patterns you can draw instead of star if you give some other thing suppose if i give here uh, hello ya yeah, hi then it will show pattern of hi clear now how many it is printing it depends on the range from where to where how many times the loop is getting executed so these questions using for using while same method is there like suppose same if you want to print the natural numbers using while like this question this same question i want to solve using while so it is very easy nothing i have to do i will simply initialize a variable here so x equals to 2 i have given initial value and here the check value will be till it is less than 23 so while i am using here while x is less than 23 it will be executing the same program i am writing and in this the increment or the decrement you have to mention so increment here is x plus 1 increment will be x plus 1 now when you will execute it what you will see what was the output of the first one 2 to 22 so here also it will print the same thing so let me execute it yes it is printing 2 to 22 the same program using while clear so these are the things there are many more things which we can do using for wherever repetition is there like printing a table or a factorial of a number or the fibonacci series there are so many series which using for and while you will do it so we were doing this let us see what else is given in your book ncert book the for loop the for statement is used to iterate over a range of values or a sequence the for loop is executed for each of the items in the range these values can be either numeric or as we shall see in later chapters they can be elements of a data type like a string list tuple so whenever any string is there or a list of students list of names list of books there also we will use for to access each element or tuple also with every iteration of the loop the control variable checks whether each of the values in the range have been traversed or not when all the items in the range are exhausted 
the statements within the loop are not ex executed the control is then transferred to the statement immediately following the for loop so suppose you want to access each element of a string of a list we use for loop and we can access each element of that list till the last one and then it automatically terminates and after taking each element what it will do it will perform the block of the for and then at the end it will come out so repetition will be there and then it will come out and terminate while using for loop it is known in advance the number of times the loop will execute the flowchart depicts the execution of a for loop is given in figure. Now here you can see how it works. Whenever you will start a work, you will initialize all the statements. Then you will check the test expression. You will check here and always while checking the output will be true or false. If it is true, then it will remain in the loop and it will continue with the looping. All the statements will be executed till the test expression is true. And once the test ex expression is false, it will come out and it will exit the for loop. Then the remaining statements following the for loop will be executed and it will stop. Clear? Now syntax of the for loop is for a variable. Just now I have shown you variable you will write in. Then directly you can write here sequence or items in range or a list. If it is containing a range of values, a list, a string, directly you can write the name. Or you can use the range syntax and you can mention the range from where to where. Statements inside the body of the loop, that also you have seen how what all statements are there inside the body of the loop that will be executed that many times. It may be one line, it may be two line or hundreds of lines can be there. Program to print the characters in a string python using for loop. Now here you can see this program for letter in python. Print letter. So it is printing each letter of python. Clear? Now this program a variable you can use and you can suppose let me execute this otherwise yes. Now, suppose I am writing here for any variable you can take in and then I can mention here any string. Suppose I have written here Python. Now, for is a, we will create a block here and we will print each letter which is taken by X. So, X. Now, when you will execute, you can see it is printing here. It is taking first P. Then it is printing. Then it is going up, taking the next value y. It is printing. Then it is going up, taking the next value t. It is printing and so on. So how many times this loop is executed? As many characters are there. Six characters. So six times. So in question paper, if you will get how many times this loop gets executed, you will write six times. If they ask you what is the output of the given program, you will write this output. That is, vertically you will write Python. Next, program to print the numbers in a given sequence using for loop. Now here you can see some numbers you have given inside. Now this square bracket when we use it is a list. So we have used here count the name of the list equals to in square bracket some numbers we have given. Now for num in count. So it will take one by one number and it will print. So first it will take 10, then 20 and so on and it will print. So same thing as the previous one. Next question is program to print even numbers in a given sequence using for loop. Now here is given sequence is there 1 to 10. And I am using for loop to take one number at a time. Then I am using if inside the for loop and checking if the number is divisible by 2. Then I am printing it is an even number. So here you can see the number from 1 to 10. The um, sequence is from 1 to 10. It will take 1 by 1. First 1. It is not even. It will not print. Then 2. 2 is divisible by 
2, remainder is 0, it will print 2 is an even number, then 4 is an even number, then 5 is, uh, sorry, 6 is an even number and so on. Body of the loop is indented with respect to the for loop. Now here you can also design it, suppose, yes, suppose a, a num n equals to, you have given here some numbers, suppose 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 22, 33, 44, 55, any sequence of numbers are given. And what we were doing is, we were simply checking this uh, hash, we will write whatever question it is and then using for loop i will take one number at a time from n and i will use if to check suppose odd numbers of this list of this sequence odd numbers i want to print so what i will do is i will check if x percent 2 is not equals to 0 or equals to 1 Yeah. Now it is printing x. So what it will do all the odd numbers it is printing. So x and if you want to print horizontally then n equals to uh, suppose with a comma I want to print. So I am mentioning here comma. Now when I will execute it what it will do is in this list in the sequence all the odd numbers it has extracted and it has printed. How it is done? A list you have given for x in n means it will take one number at a time. So first it will take 2. If 2 is divisible after dividing 2 by 2 if the remainder is 1 no so it will not print 2. Then it will take the next number 3. Then if 3 percent 2 when you divide 3 by 2 if the remainder is 1 it will print yes it is 1 so it will print 3 with a comma it will go up it will take the next value 4 4 when you divide it by 2 the remainder is not 1 so it will not print then it will go up it will take 5 5 when you divide it by 2 then yes the remainder is 1 so it will print 5 so what it is doing, it is printing odd numbers from the list. Printing odd numbers from the given list or sequence. Now next is the range function. Now the range function is a built-in function in Python. Syntax of range function is after range, the first value is the start comma then stop comma step now here you can see some are given in square bracket what does this means this means that it is op this is optional even if you don't give start then also by default it is zero it will start from zero but stop is compulsory you have to give the stop value where to stop otherwise infinite loop means error and step value means like by default till now it was increasing by 1. Now I want to increase by 2 so I will mention the step value. Let us see. It is used to create a list containing a sequence of integers from the given start value up to stop value excluding stop value. Now this you will keep in mind. We will not include the stop value. Before the stop value it will stop. So excluding stop value. With a difference of the given step value. Suppose step value is 1. Then and the start value is also 1. Then 1, 2, 3, 4. If the step value is 2 and the start value is 1. Then 1, 3, 5, 7. So it will take the difference and then it will skip to the next value. We will learn about functions in the next chapter. To begin with. Simply remember that function takes parameters to work on. In function range, start, stop and step are parameters. So whatever you are writing in the parenthesis, 
all these are called parameters or arguments so here you can see it is in round bracket start stop and step so it is called parameters normally one word question or fill in the blanks when they will ask you whatever is written in round bracket it is called parameters or arguments the start and step parameters are optional if start value is not specified by default the list starts from zero if step is also not specified by default the value increases by 1 in each iteration all parameters of range function must be integers you cannot put string there it all should be integers neither you can use float value decimal values the step parameter can be a positive or a negative integer including z excluding zero sorry excluding z clear so it can be plus 1 or minus 1 if it is plus 1 then the start is 1 and the stop is 11 so it will print 1 to 10 if it is minus 1 and the start is 11 or start is 10 and stop is 0 it will print minus 1 means it will go in reverse that is 10 minus 1 so first 10 it will print then 9 then 8 and so on i will show you practically how it works start and step not specified like here you can see it is not specified so what it is doing it is starting from 0 and till 9 it is printing only 10 range of 10 it is written so this range function it is printing from 0 to 9 now default step value is 1 so when you will write 2 to 10 it will start from 2 and print till 9 so here you can see 2 to 9 now using list they have displayed here you can use print also to display the range now step value is 5 so it will start from 0 and then 5 10 50 20 25 <laughs> if you give a step value then it will work like this and if it is minus 1 then it will subtract like 0 0 minus 1 is minus 1 0 minus again uh, minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 and so on the function range is often used in for loops for generating a sequence of numbers now we will see how the sequence of numbers are there like program to print the multiples of 10 for numbers in a given range now whichever is uh, here what they have done is they have taken here 0 to 5 that is in 4 it will stop and if num is greater than 0 it is printing num into 10 so 0 it will not take from 1 it will take and it will multiply by 10 and it will print so it will be 10 20 30 40 because num will be from 0 to 4 0 we have skipped here so 1 to 4 so it will 1 to 4 1 by 1 it will take and it will multiply by 10 and it will print so you just start solving the questions now all whatever we have done till now that is using for or directly we can use here print and you can use the range function now if you are writing here range 10 or range 5 if you are writing then when you are printing it it is printing range 0 to 5 now in this if you are using a for loop suppose a for loop you are using for x in range 5 now what it will print anyone print x yes now tell me what it will print 0 to 4 it will print Yes, but, sir. yes. But in this question, if I write one comma five, or suppose I have written two comma five, now what it will print? One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Correct. If I write here comma two, now what it will print? it will skip one so 2 and 4 it will print clear if i write here 22 and here if i write minus 2 
then 22 it will print it will subtract 2 then 20 it will print it will subtract 2 then 18 it will print till it reaches 4 it will keep on printing in this case 6 uh, sorry it is 5 to 22 so till it reaches 6 it will print now in this case you can see before the stop value it stops now our stop value was smaller number 5 so it will stop at 6 if it is from a smaller number to a larger number in that case minus 1 it will stop and if it is a larger number to a smaller number now in this case plus 1 it will stop so here at 6 it will stop it is clear now so all these questions which you have done just now you just practice once and if you have any doubt next class we will do all the while questions all these questions using while now the list of questions using for is table factorial i will start solving one by one first let me show you the list of questions using for so the first question is table of a number then factorial then fibonacci series i will write here only fibo series then all the even numbers series of even numbers series of odd numbers series of prime numbers series of composite numbers here all the series you can print series of negative numbers all the negative numbers then you can get the sum of series any series sum of series you can get and so on so we will start one by one first table of a number now if you know the number then directly you can do it or you can ask the user to enter a number so here i am asking the user to enter a number input enter a number whose table you want to print and then you are using a for loop now i want to print the table from 1 to 10 so what i will write here range i will write here 1 to 10 so 1 comma now 10 means before that it will stop so i will write here 11 and colon now while printing i want to print directly also n into x you can write or you can write n comma just like a table how you show a table x that is into it will show here and then value of x you will print it is a variable so without course then equals to i am writing here and then with the comma n star x now when you will execute this what you will see enter a number suppose the table of 5 i want to display so here you can see the table of 5 it will show how it is being executed it is asking enter a number integer number we are entering 5 then x is taking from 1 to 10 1 by 1 value and the value of n is 5 this is in double quotes so it will print as it is so this x is as it is then the value of x will be in the first case it will be 1 when x will be 1 it will print 1 equals to is in double quotes so equals to as it is it will print then comma n into x the value of this after this multiplying it whatever is the value it will print that so here 5 it is print second time when the loop will be executed x will be incremented by 1 so 2 it will take and the same thing is repeated 10 times so how many times this for loop is executed 10 times that's why it is printing 10 lines and it is showing you the table. Clear? Now the other questions like factorial means from 1 to that number, the product of all the digits. FIBO is the 
third number is always the addition of the first two numbers even series is very easy anybody can do it even series hardly it takes one like any series even numbers you want to print what you have to do is suppose from one you have to start then or from two you can start and till 50 you want to print all the even so here plus 2 you can give and it will print all the even numbers from 2 to 50 before 50 it will stop if it is odd number then here from 1 we will write and 1 3 5 7 it will print all the odd numbers prime and composite we will do in next class because you have to understand prime numbers are divisible by 1 and itself so that you have to understand how to write the program so all these programs you just go through it once try it in our next class we will do all the other programs also